Hi Garrett, this is called the three-step drill. This drill we use in actually in competition when the lanes get really dry and you have to stand in front of the bar return. This is a drill we actually use in tournaments. So you can get in front of the bar return here and you can throw three steps and just be nice and smooth and play the burn when the lanes get really burned up. So you want to get in your normal strike position three and a half steps back from the foul line. You want to have your right foot have all the weight because you're going to move your left foot first. But the first thing that's going to happen is the ball is going to move. So let's watch the ball move. Ball goes first, down about the knee. Then you take that big, long first step. Nice long step there. Then a short step, which is going to naturally happen. The long step makes an, a short step the natural thing that happens next. And you see that short step there. Now watch the shoulders. Don't want to pull it. You want to let it fall by gravity. A little less shoulder rotation. Still got that shoulder, left shoulder going a little bit further back than I want it to be. I want it to be right there, okay? You can just let the ball swing through right there. I'd be really happy, okay? And that's what we're shooting for. But you're not far from it. You just go a little bit back, and the head looks a lot steadier, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's look at it from the front. Here's the front view of the drill. It'll give us a better feeling for what's going on. We'll see if we have more of a steady head here. Here we go. Three and a half steps back from the foul line. Normal strike position. You move the ball first. Here it comes. Ball goes first. Now watch the ball in your head right now. That alignment is what we want to see. There's the long step. There's the short step. It steps over right in front. I like that. Look how nicely your arms are lined up right now. I call this airplane wings. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an airline pilot or a jet pilot. And I flew around the neighborhood when I was about five years old with my arms out like I was pretending to be an airplane, okay? And those airplane wings are pointed to your target, aren't they? They're lined up with where you're going to throw the ball, which is another good thing. And this back angle here is perfect. Look how far away your head is from your belly button. And your hips aren't as open anymore, are they? They're less open than they were before, which is one of the goals that we had for you yesterday with Coach Randy. So the hips are in a better position even, even though your shoulders are wide open. And that's what this drill does. All these things it creates without me telling you to do that. It just happened automatically, didn't it? And that's the beauty of doing the drills. Let's watch the head now. Still got some movement, but not as much. And the follow-through goes right through the face. Look at that. That left shoulder just goes a little bit too far back. Still want to quiet that movement right down there and let that ball fall, come through on its own. But that's better. We see less movement of your shirt, less rotation. And the more you do this drill, the more this is going to happen, okay? And look at your balance. No flipping of the foot, right? No flipping of the foot. It stays stationary. It stays locked on target. It's solid. Watch that again. Watch your slide foot come through. Look how solid it is. It's aimed right at your target line. And even though, look at that, still solid as a rock. No flipping. Before we had two or three flips of the foot to hold your balance, right? So this is going to help you build that balance feeling and help you build the, the idea of waiting on it, waiting on the bowling ball, okay? When it gets to the top of the swing, the ball is weightless. And the tendency is to want to feel the ball. It's like it's in outer space at the top of the swing. It doesn't, you don't feel anything. So people want to grab it to feel it and feel that they're putting stuff on the ball. So you have to be patient up here at the top of the swing and wait, and then just let the ball fall by grabbing. That was that tip Bill O'Neill told me, you know, on our website. That's on our website here. So it's the temptation at the top of the swing to want to pull so you feel something because the ball gets weightless. But if you can just be patient and wait, the ball is not going to step here. Gravity will bring it down, I promise you. It's not going to hang very long up there. But you got to let it hang for just a second, okay? Just a second. Somebody told me yesterday, one of my students said, what I, I tried to do is I just, I said the word click at the top of the swing. When I got the top swing, I said click, and I couldn't come down until the click occurred. So he went top of swing, click, and then he let the ball come down. So that might help you too. You can try whatever that, that works, but this drill is helping. We see in several ways here. We see a better alignment of the ball in your balance bowling arm. We see better posture at the finish. Less, no, actually no movement of the 
slide fit at all. And we see those good airplane wings right here at the top of the swing. Watch it. Right there. Those good airplane wings, a nice posture right there. And then here we see less head movement. And we see definitely less foot movement, okay? And a follow through right through the face. That's where all the top players are. Let me show you a picture of that. We'll put it on your DVD. I have a presentation here that I'll stick on your DVD. This will be all on your DVD with my narration of it, but I'm just going to show you a slide out of it at the finish. The best players in the world are doing just what you're doing in this drill. There we go. Here it is right here. Look at these guys. All four of them had the follow through right through the face, don't they? You see that? This is Chris Barnes, Tommy Jones, Sean Rash, and Jason Couch. All four different players, but all four had that follow through right through the face, just like you do. Let's bring you back up here. Look at that, right through the face also, just like those guys. So that's uh, another indication of the modern game. We used to say answer the phone. Now we say talk to the hand, okay? And that's a great follow through position right there, right through your face. So that's one of the things, that, one of the many things that the drills do. They build these skills. If you do them every day, you do them with the right technique, and you caught yourself a couple times out here doing the wrong technique. That was really good. You want to catch yourself and make sure you do the techniques just right because then you'll get the benefits of the drill when you do the techniques perfectly, okay? So I would do these drills, all three of them, the finish drill, the swing and slide drill, and the three-step drill every day as you warm up, and that will build these improved skills, okay? Great.